Good morning, guys. So today we are heading to the shop. Finally, uh, I'm gonna start work on my car. Or Ryan is gonna start work on his car. He's also gonna run to Rudnick's shop to grab a KA. And yeah, we're basically just gonna get our cars set. Or I want I'm, I'm gonna be done for the season because I want to get my car mint as fuck for the next season. So I'm not sitting on the sidelines most of the time. Or you decided to cut your bumper off? Huh? Yeah, I might cut my bumper off and make a bash bar. So. That's what we're doing today. No one's just ripping a set of Corsa, waiting. So we'll probably head out in like 15, 20 minutes, so definitely stay tuned. Oh, that just needs to be right there. We got Brendan just finished editing the second episode of Minecraft on the gaming channel. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen that, go we check have, it out. We have to do Dying Light tonight, because I haven't played it in like two days. Dying Light, yep. We'll do Dying Light. So I, I just gotta check if the music and or the uh, game and the audio are synced up, so I'm gonna check that out. We have a couple tasks we can bang out when we're out of the shop. Yeah. So we got Just Brendan's, like Brendan's negative cable. Uh, what else? We got. I'm just gonna take like I'm gonna get my car up and then get all my front suspension off, uh, like all the brakes, like basically what we did to Orion's car, just so it's a, a wheel up or a wheel. Hook. What is it? What, is it? What, do you, what would you call it when everything is out of the front, like the tub? Basically the tub. I don't know, but we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head off. Right? Goddamn hot out, but as you saw, we stopped at Dunkin' Donuts, got some nice sandwiches and nice cold water, so we should be good. So here we have, uh, I'm pretty sure these are E36 outer tie rods, E90 inner tie rods, and then I'm pretty sure these are the control arms. So yeah, two sets. Sweet. And that one box. Oh, yes. with you guys. So you can bump the we need music in here. That's what it's for. The Sony, baby. Take it out. All right, to, uh, to start, we uh, jacked my ass end up and kind of like pushed it to the left because it was kind of like towards Orion's car and we didn't have this much room on the right. So we did that. We didn't have to move uh, Orion's, didn't have to move Dylan's, only had to move Brendan's. So I'm going to go ahead and get, up, get her up on four jack stands and then I'm going to start taking the, front, the whole front suspension apart, get the front tires off, get the control arms off. Tie rods, all that kind of, all that good stuff. The knuckle. Oh Jesus, God, dude. Slip, dude. Slippery as fuck. All right, so I got the car on four jack stands. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to take the front wheels off, and then probably the back wheels. I also want to try to get the camber arms out as well on both sides because I do have new camber arms. eBay, of course. Sixty-seven dollars special. All right, so I apologize if it's a little bright, but. Right back there. You, you can, can see that? If you, we could just pop that off. You can, can see where the ground it. broke. And here's the ground cable right here. To I'm start gonna, it, I had to put the, the negative terminal negative terminal you did, onto you did the negative. He was like, he said, okay, he touched them together. Yeah, and he was like, start together. it. Yeah. And, and it worked. worked. Yeah. But the um, alternator was keeping the charge. We popped that off, reattached it to this, re -bolt it back on, and his car's all set. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, dude, that broken camber arm life. There's at least five degrees of positive camber right now. Everything's out. And then, up. here's where the camber arm is broken. As you see, it's two parts right here. They split apart. This got cracked, and then this cracked in half right here. I got uh, both the front wheels off now, spacers off, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the, uh, the whole brake assembly off, the fucking the brake caliber, gonna get the rotor off, or get the rotor off the knuckle, take the coil out, take the lower control arm out. Tie rod, outer tie rod, so it's just gonna be a bare wheel well. It was, was short-lived. Short -lived. Yeah. I, it was it was like on upside down, and it was already like tight as it was, so I had to flip it because it was like this. Kind of like twist it. Yeah. So when I twisted it, it was just so tight that when I pushed the battery back in, it just fell off again. So. Yeah. It wasn't like 
I said it was pinched, like the wires was pinched in between where it needed to be, but it wasn't like to the point where you, like you could still pull it out. And we were hoping that the tape would hold it in there like long enough to, like, so it lasts until we got a new one. So I guess not, we're just gonna have to buy a new one. They're only like a dollar or two, so we can grab one of those whenever. So me and Brennan are going to run to the gas station on the bikes, yes, because the reason we take the bikes is because literally every single car in this garage is junk. Like, my car is junk. Like, everything is broken on it. E36 is junk. Freaking Miata junk won't start. That Miata is not junk, but it won't start because of the ground cable. So we have no other rides except for the bikes. We can take a crazy car if we wanted to, but they're not charged. So we're going to head over and get something to drink. Here's a closer look at whatever this is. Looks like a Chevy 350, carbureted. A lot of custom fab. This thing is pretty sweet. Look at the exhaust. There's like, it comes down from the header, goes back when there's like a stopping plate right here. Huge bottle of NOS. Literally has stacks. I don't know what this is. Looks like a tow something, I don't know. Tires are fucking wide as shit though. What are you feeling like? Huh? What are you feeling like? I want to try something different today. Ooh, what the heck are these? Looks like pomegranate seeds in those. Mama Chia. I can't change it up. Soda always. Uh, Alright. Got the snacks, got the drinks. Head back to the shop. You can crack it on suspension. I'm so glad I made this camera handle because all this grease on my hand no longer has to go on yeah, the T4i. It, it would literally be transferred to the T4i if I didn't have this camera handle. So. Shout out, like, shout out to Cam for, for making that no for making a handle. Yeah. You can't be holding a greasy camera. But anyway, uh, Dylan is working on getting that caliber off. I got, I got this caliber off. It's sitting on a jack stand. So we're almost ready to start disassembling the whole front suspension. All right. So I just got the uh, the tie rod, the outer tie rod, unbolted, and if it's stuck, uh, like, if it's stuck. In the knuckle, please don't bang on the top of the bolt and please don't put the bolt on and bang because that will still ruin the threads. All you have to do is take a hammer and just hit your knuckle and this will eventually fall out. There we go, finally. And Dylan just broke the three bolts holding the coil over it to the knuckle. Take the three bolts off, and that'll basically be it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the control, all, control arm off while the hub is still connected, and then flip it upside down, and then hit the knuckle so the uh, the uh, hub falls off, and then we'll basically have it all off. So we got all the bolts right here, kind of keeping them organized. So it's going smoothly so far. Banged out the first side within like not even 10 minutes, so we're gonna hit the other side after this, and then. The whole front end will be tore down, then we can move to the back. All right, so we got the uh, the coilover out on this side. Uh, brake caliber's off, uh, tie rod is out. Um, now, basically all we have to do is take off the sway bar end link, unbolt the uh, lollipop right there, and then unbolt the, well, unbolt that ball joint from the subframe, so this whole assembly would drop. And then I'm gonna unbolt this while it's out of the car and hit right here, so that just falls off. So everything will be separate. Dylan is on this side working at uh, getting the struck out or the coil over. It's out, so I gotta do under the top bolts and then we'll have that one out. It's going pretty smoothly, which I'm pretty excited about and happy because most of this stuff usually goes freaking like. South. Compared to the front end of Orion's car, compared to the front end of my car, my car was like a dream to take apart. Orion's car was freaking horrendous. I hated it. And the only reason mine was so easy is because I already did all my suspension and all the balls were already taken out and put in so they weren't seized at all. So yeah, we're doing good. The passenger side was a lot easier because I changed this control arm when I snapped, snapped at an E-Town. So this ball joint and this bolt was really easy to get off. I didn't have, a, have to put a jack or, or anything under there or put the uh, Allen on top of the bolt. So this one, this hub can come off right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit right there or right there, I apologize, right there and hopefully 
That'll come out fine. There we go. And I know um, when we did a Ryan E36, we chopped his ABS. And if you guys are doing this and following along, and you don't want to chop your ABS, your ABS plug is right in this little housing right here. You just got to pop open, op, pop open this housing, and it's like a, a cylinder plug, and you just got to unplug it, and then you know, the whole ABS wire will come out. We got both the knuckles out. Wasn't too bad. Didn't have to cut my ABS wires. So now all we have to do is take out the lower control arms, which is not like there's nothing at all. It's looking good, going smoothly. I'm pumped, man. I'm really pumped. It's good, boys. What's going on, man? All right, so this is attempt number two. We got the wire slid in, and I actually hammered it shut. So, like, you can yank on it, and it won't come undone. So we're gonna try to bolt that back up and see if it'll actually stay and not come undone like the last one. Okay, so the negative is connected, and just to show you that it works, kinda, all the lights turn on now. So it's gonna start, so that's good. We didn't have to buy another one. I was remote. reading the Spanish. Blue and <laughs> that's, yeah. that's for the remote. I was reading the Spanish version. It said blue and blanc, so I thought Dude, it was blue and black. This looks like a fucking baller ass head unit. Dude. All touch screen, is it capacitive? Touch that, screen? Oh like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like, can you feel it? Like, when you push it, can you no, feel it, like, go heat, in a little heat, bit? It's heat, it's heat. Pretty sure it's heat. Sweet. That's gonna be dope to be in a car now. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I'm calling the capacitive suck because it's like a little plastic yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like the same yeah. stuff as you do. Exactly. Yeah. We also just fixed his harness. Yeah, it was uh, so loose before, like, yeah, I like, pull him out. This harness is uh, one of the ones that are made just for bolt-in. Like, you can't wrap it around a bar like a race equip or uh, like a Takata or any of those. So, there was so much slack. So what I did is I just had him put it where it was comfortable and I just wrapped it like a thousand times and rebolted it, which is better than wrapping and welding it. So that should be fine and it should pass tech. His seat is bolted in, so we're gonna go for a ride. I'm not gonna lie, Miata's with no seats, like when you're sitting on the floor, dude, it, like it's actually pretty comfortable. I feel like... Run is going to give it a nice romp. Alright guys, Brendan, my fucking man is about to do a huge peel. You ready for this? Get me like so I can back far enough up so that I can open the side doors all the way inside the shop. All right, so Orion, you probably can't hear me over the 7-3, but Orion just arrived back with a KA that he picked up from Rundnick, three hundred bucks with a manual tranny. Keep coming. Keep going. Right there. Good. You're yeah, yeah. So you can, and I'll, yeah, I see All right, so we got the uh, engine hoist out. connected to the KA. We're about to yank it out. If it was just an engine, we probably could have carried it out, but it has a tranny connected to it, so we decided to do this. Honestly, how long? How long did it take to get all this shit full? Really? One car show? Wow. Looks out for Harambe. You have like a sign that says like to write something on it. Yo, Kev. <laughs> Harambe gang, dude. Look at this shit. Harambe gang, dude. What? Yeah, damn. <laughs> Yo, damn, dude. Remember we did this with the Accord? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I went to a car show and just left it there. Really? Everybody fucking signed Everyone it signed it? Yeah. It has a paint job to get signed, too, so. Where's that going? Half of this thing is all Where'd that go? How often right do there. you get pulled over? Never. <laughs> Never? <laughs> Never. Alright, ready? I'll sign the top. We got CMS signing this. <laughs> All right, so since we're at the shop and I told you guys I wanted to make a V2 of the handle, I found this bolt and I found this nut again. 
Uh, I took my time welding it this time. We changed a tip on the welder so it made the button a lot better. And this one's a lot more symmetrical and not crooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool down and then cut another piece of electrical conduit and then put that on. All right, so it's really dark right now, but we are set. We got all the cars in, doors closed. So we're gonna head back to the house and just chill, probably eat some dinner. It was a good day at the shop. Very oh, yeah. successful. Set out. Brendan literally just smashed Dylan's head. I'm surprised he didn't fucking break the window. So we have two big ass fucking garbage bags we gotta dispose of at our uh, local dumpster here where we live. Thank you for that, by the way, because you got it. No, thank you for letting us dump it. I wouldn't see, but I wouldn't. Alright guys, so we've arrived home, I'm in my office, I'm dirty, so I'm gonna hop in the shower, get to editing this vlog, if you guys enjoyed, go down to the comment section, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.